What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know. And I'm here to do my Q&A today. And I've only got a couple of questions about the releases that happened a couple of days or a week ago now. Dude, people have got to stop getting released. I mean, Vince, come on. How much money do you actually have? And, like, you... Can you just keep paying these people so that they don't have to lose their jobs and go find, like, real jobs? Like, come on. So, like, WWE. So, I'm gonna do releases from 2021. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I'm watching, you know, Bad Blood from 04. So, yeah, uh, Smiling Shawn Michaels, Chris Benoit versus Kane in the World Heavyweight title match. And what I picked up recently okay, was these two things. I've got the NCIS Los Angeles. Season 3. And the back artwork is nice. It's a, um, a orange feel. And normal CBS artwork. Um, a 6 disc set. A... This goes from 2011 to 2012. And here's the back if you didn't see it. Every mission <coughs> takes you to the edge. And I got the fourth season of NCIS LA. Does the City of Angels the best defense? So, this goes from, and here's the back of it. A little, um, dark brown backing. And this goes from 2012 to 2013. So, yeah. So now I've got all four seasons of NCIS so far. And they have um, 12 out on DVD. So I'm going to get those soon. Um, f I think five through seven I'm going to ask for, for Christmas. So I hope. And I'm on season two right now. I think I'm going to watch it after Bad Blood. So, let's talk about these releases, shall we? So, in 2021... Uh, this past thing... No. The big... Oh, well, duh. I'm saying, like, the big show got released. I, well, duh. He got released in February. Um, Andrade, yeah. Where is it? So, why is why is everyone getting released now? Because they have plenty of money to pay these people. 
Like these are our family. If 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 you really think about it, right? Because because I've watched wrestling for over a decade, ele eleven years now, and most of these people I grew up with, like the Big Show, Strowman, fifteen, uh, Wyatt, two thousand thirteen through two thousand twenty one. So like I've watched Wyatt for seven years, and now he's gone. Weird, right? Okay, so Bray Wyatt got released on July thirty first. We we all know this. I I, I I did a video on it with Wrestling DVD Central. I mean, we talked for about probably like an 50 minutes to an hour talking just about Bray Wyatt. I, I don't understand it. Uh, Ric Flair, I think that's what it was coming, so. Um, I didn't even know this. Bobby Fish, get, Bobby Fish got released on August 6th, and then, like, Sammy Kovara like a couple of weeks ago, or probably now a month ago, said, I am challenging Bobby Fish to a TNT title match. Like, wait, what? Like, what? Bobby Fish is in, is in WWE, is in AEW now? What? And then, if you didn't see my, um, my review of this, I also got All Out 2000, 2021 with CM Punk versus Darby Allen, Kenny Omega versus Christian Cage, and the debut of Daniel Bryan, Adam Cole, and CM Punk. Yeah, CM Punk's debut match. But I'm sort of... Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Brian Danielson. They they changed his name, but I did. I, I can't believe that they didn't change Adam Cole's name. Uh, of course, what would you call Adam Cole if it wasn't Adam Cole? Yeah, so yeah, so that was weird. <clears throat> um, Bronson Reed. He he got released on August sixth as well. This man won the North American Championship, and then, a, and then like, a couple weeks later to a month, he's released. Uh, what? Th this... I don't get it. So, I guess the Q&A is now just talking about release superstars. Because I don't have much... Um... Leon Ruff, August 6th. You see this man with the North American title, right? North American title. And, nope, gone. Gone. Just gone. Um... Um, Ember Moon or or Ember Moon, yeah, Ember Moon, yeah. So she started with WWE in 2015. She she got on the main roster. I mean, she was good in um the Mo the Money in the Bank Collider match in 2018. But but that but that's your release. Like, okay, uh, you're no good. See ya. I'm not going to talk about this, but Eva Marie, we all knew this was coming. Actually, um, up the street, there's a gas station near my house, and she is on 
she is like on the building. Uh, no, she's on the wall of the gas station, just working out with a guy doing a rope. Why is she on my gas station building? A gas station building near my house. Why? Just why? Why? Um, Frankie Money, I don't know who you are. Graham, Graham, Graham Metalik. I don't remember who you are, but you were on 205 Live, and I don't watch 205 Live. You were on SmackDown, you were on Raw. I don't remember you, so... Bye. Who, who are you? Uh, okay, just don't tell me who this guy is. Um, okay. This is, this is a guy who I've been wanting to talk about. I talked about him, um, probably two, two months ago in my Q&A. Um, his name is Karrion Cross. For the love of Pete, <coughs> this guy had potential. This guy had potential through the roof. But the NXT champion and, you know what, I'm going to look up. Segment. Can I get... No, shut up. For the love of Pete, I'm trying to look up... Uh, hold on. Okay, so you you so uh, so so Adam Cole says to Karen Cross, the the only thing that makes you special is that you got the girl, you got the title, and you got the cool music. The the and then Adam Cole says the only thing that makes me special is a ring the freaking bell. Yeah, so, Karrion Cross had potential, yes, and then you, then you debut him on Raw, and he loses to Jeff Hardy with, now, now, now don't get me wrong, Jeff Hardy is a phenomenal wrestler, is a all-time legend in my book, But this is a match that Karrion Cross need needed to win, needed to win, and then then Jeff Hardy has him in a roll up, and he has his feet on the rope. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Um, this is, this is another man. Um, Keith Lee. He ended Adam Cole's 403 day reign as NXT champion, man. And he wins the North American title as well. He has both championships. And they release him. He goes on Raw... He goes to payback in the UK for some reason in, in 2020 versus Randy Orton, and he loses. No, wait. And he wins. I'm sorry. Um, I'm getting a little flustered right now because I'm, I'm talking about the releases, and it's making me sad. Um, dude, they had, like, 
Karen Cross and Keith Lee had clashings. They needed a win, but you're but, but you're putting them one on one. Why? They both needed wins. Why? Uh, me and Yim, I don't know. Um, N Nia Jax, I think you saw that coming. I, I mean, she was a little, literally hurting people and putting people in the hospital. So, so just stop. Um, Oni Lorcan, okay. Um, Scarlet, Scarlet, okay, so Scarlet. Um,. Karen Cross's wife and manager, like real life wife. And she doesn't wrestle, but she gets released with her husband. Yeah. Um, I think this is the saddest re or or one of two saddest, saddest releases. Of them all. Dude, dude, drink Maverick, man. You have him in in NXT for a couple of years. And and this is a person who, who got released once. Maverick was originally released on April 15th, 2020 due to do the budget cuts, but but was then brought back on, and then then got released due to budget cuts again. I wonder why. This man was was the GM for Two O Five Live. He was in a in a in a stupid feud with Bobby Roode. Like, peeing on his robe in the bathroom. He had a faction with the AOP. The Authors of Pain. But, but I guess it was the... But the, but, but the Authors of P. And then... They do, like, Cesaro and Sheamus versus the Authors of Pain. That Survivor Series 2017 or 18. And, and Big Show is choking him on the ring, and Maverick is pissing his pants. And then, he goes to NXT, wins a match, and then he was supposed to get re-signed on after the show, but then Triple H re-signed him at the end of the show. But then, but but then got released. Where where where's this guy gonna go? I don't know. Um, this man, this man, this man is awesome. But he, they ruined him this past year. And his name is John Morrison. This man probably had one of the worst, the worst DVDs in the world for for WWE. But 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 that's not but but, but that's not a bad thing because people bought it. This man came into came into WWE with the Miz. Well, well, not with the Miz. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to take off my shoe. Um, but he almost won the world title against Rey Mysterio. He won the IC title, I think, f four times. Um, he, uh, 
Although I, I do think the Miz ruined his current run. Because they want... Because he re-signed on December 3rd. And he may have returned John Morrison's name, was partnered with The Miz again as a heel for the first time in 10 years. They were a few with the Tag Team Champions of the New Day. And then they won the SmackDown Tag Team Championships at Super Showdown in, 20, in, in 2019. No, wait, in 2020, I'm sorry. And then he almost won the Money in the Bank contract... As part of the 2020 draft in October, Morrison and Miz were drafted to Raw. Prior to the few, prior to the draft, Morrison and the Miz entered a feud with Otis for his Money in the Bank contract. See, that's what I don't get. You have this guy who can make millions of dollars, but is teamed with the Miz again, which was fine in the beginning. I liked it, but the Miz got everything, and the and Morrison got no, nothing. The Bad Bunny kicked their ass at WrestleMania 37. Wow, just wow. And he, and he, and he's not even in the the WWE game this year. He hasn't been in a game like a like a WWE game since 2011 with WWE 12. And I hope I don't get copyrighted on YouTube because of that Adam Cole thing. I hope that wasn't loud enough. Um, but, but if it is, I can just refilm this. Um, they almost won the Royal Rumble. Wait, no, he didn't. My fault. Um, let's see what, what did he win? Um, Hit Row. I don't, I, I don't remember who they are, but they debuted on SmackDown, and I, and I did, I've never heard their theme song, and then they get released. They say, um, Patrick is trying to get their theme song off YouTube, l l let's release him before, before he can do that. Okay. So, all together, there's been 79 WWE, WWE releases. Wow, guys. Wow. That is a... I mean, I'm not even, like, saying, like, wow, like a... Like, sarcastically. Like, I'm, like, I'm just saying, like, wow, like, I'm shocked. Okay, guys, this has been Patrick from Pores Unboxings. Um, if you want to leave a comment or two and hit that notification bell every time I every time I upload, so you can watch them. And and again, like I just said, if you want to leave a comment, express yourself, um, talk about these releases in the comments if you want. And, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.